Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share some affirmations that I scripted during one of my scripting sessions, okay? Um, something that really inspired me to make this video is to tell you uh, i just had a thought in my mind and i was like you know what i haven't made an affirmation like manifestation video in a while let me go ahead and make one um and the thing the thought that inspired me is that you never have to be tied down to a reality that you don't want to experience okay um if you know about the law of assumption you know about manifestation and you're consciously practicing it because the truth is a lot of people know about this by now there's even like the uh you know people that in your life that maybe don't really practice this at some point or another they may have gotten ads on their for you page or instagram algorithm or wherever you know to uh, regarding mindset and maybe they've heard of like you know the 369 like there's like you know books like project 369 and uh, there's been just so much talk about you know changing your thoughts thinking differently things like that right so yeah um if you know about the law of assumption just realize that that is your ticket to stop being a victim in your own reality you can literally open a new portal okay aka experience a new reality because you know of this and because you know that you don't need to stay at rock bottom or that uh you know or observe that unfavorable situation for as long okay you can just get out of it asap and that is what everything is observation it's not really happening to you you are just observing it you are just observing a reality where that thing is happening to you you're just embodying a version of yourself where that thing is happening to you and if you don't like it embody a different version of yourself observe a different reality by thinking different thoughts and something that i want to tell you is that if you feel, if you've been at this for like months or even years i'm telling you like you are going to live such a good blessed abundant life for the rest of your life okay even if like let's say you're manifesting something and you feel like you haven't really gotten the concrete movement you want um and maybe you've been at this for like months or even years you are still strengthening your manifestation muscle believe it or not okay and it's you're gonna reach a point where you will literally change things at the snap of your finger okay if you consciously practice this every day or most days okay in some way shape or form i'm not saying you need to affirm like 24 7 all the time or robotically affirm the entire day but if you are somewhat consciously practicing manifestation you are strengthening that muscle within and it's only going to help you it cannot harm you in any way it really can't um maybe you feel like oh ever since i started affirming i had these weird like purges or things started going like you know negative it will balance out you will get to the reality that you want sometimes i like to see it as like shifting through different realities right like trans surfing like different realities until you get what you want like this reminds me of a door like you know how in alice in wonderland she opens like a bunch of different doors right there's a lot of different doors and then like she finds like the right door right like there's like the big doors there's the small doors right um yeah th that's how i like to see it as like okay yeah now i'm observing a reality where uh my sp is acting like this not the reality i want i'm not i'm gonna just you know go back out this door and into another one like that's how easy it is okay you don't need to dwell on one thing you don't need to keep like reiterating the circumstances or you know talk to like you know people about it again and again if you need to complain once or twice to get it out of your system that's fine um but another thing that i noticed that people do that delays them from getting their manifestations is that they keep complaining about the things that they're trying to manifest if you're trying to manifest good, healthy love, why are you complaining about men? Why are you complaining about women? Why are you seeing men as people who don't know how to be loyal, they're cheaters? Why are you seeing women as like, oh, like, you know, they just always ghost me or they're gold diggers or whatever or whoever you're into, right? These are just examples that I've seen, like, you know, people like talk about and share their stories about on the internet and then they complain like, oh, I'm not manifesting love, like love isn't meant for me. Yeah, because you're spending time complaining about a few bad experiences you may have had rather than just understanding that you have the power to shift things like that may have happened in the past because of where your perception of these things were at in the past and where your self-concept may have lied sometimes it's not just self-concept sometimes i've seen people like you know be the most confident like self-assured people in the world you know they can go out like um like with no makeup they can go out in pajamas and still be like the most like you know confident people but when their self-concept when it comes to receiving money or receiving the love that they desire or even their perception of the economy or the type of people that they want to attract and love is not you know in line with what what it is that they want so 
Um, you know, there's no point in having so much resentment, sadness, anger towards others because at the end of the day, it's just you. If you can say, okay, you know what, I'm the one. Maybe don't even say I'm taking responsibility, although you can say that if you want to. But you can say, okay, I'm the one that was observing this reality. I choose to shift to a different reality. That way, you're not going to spend so much time complaining about people having all this, like, you know, unhealthy, like, resentment. Like, I can't believe they did this because that makes you a victim in your own reality. And when you're a victim, you're spending more of your thoughts, time, and energy being a victim complaining whereas you can retain that power by taking you know like have more power to create your reality by taking back your power and just saying like okay no no i don't want to do this i i don't you know i take back my power i choose to not observe this reality and i choose to observe a completely different one where i'm getting everything that i want okay and if you're in that different reality you know, that, that that must mean that your person's showing up for you the way that you want. That must mean that you have the job that you want, the relationships, the friendships that you want. Then you'll have nothing to complain about. Sometimes I think we as humans, like, you know, I don't want to say this because this might be a little bit bleak, but maybe we're wired to complain about things because that's how we grew up thinking for a lot of us, okay? But if you can, like, find yourself, if you can stop yourself in the middle of, like, a complaining session or a spiraling session and be like, you know what? No, this doesn't serve me at all. I'm going to change my thoughts. Um, even if it feels kind of weird or uncomfortable, I'm going to do it anyways then you know you will change your reality so fast you will get your manifestations so fast and you'll be able to keep them fast too because then you will have developed this you know thinking mechanism the thought mechanism um that will allow you to shift gears okay which literally means like shifting your mentality shifting your mindset so that you can observe the reality that you want okay so yeah anyways let me go ahead and get started with the affirmations i felt like saying a lot um yeah okay uh to preface this video that was kind of a long intro but yeah the first affirmation i wrote here is i am perfection i radiate beauty and love i radiate love the universe reflects love back to me for some reason this affirmation has always helped me manifest the love that i want and even love from a lot of different sources okay if you've been feeling down about your beauty or anything like that you know just say like yeah no i'm the most beautiful person ever i'm the most handsome person ever i radiate beauty okay i even like the affirmation i'm surrounded by beauty wealth luxury okay um yeah you know, just affirmations uh that have to do with the type of life you want to experience. We also have here, I'm always respected by all men, or I'm always respected by all women. I'm always respected by everyone, actually. I'm everyone's favorite, everything. Okay, I only uh, observe, you know, I only have loyal, kind hearted, nice, compassionate, empathetic men in my reality. I only have good women in my reality. I only have good people in my reality. I only have good friendships in my reality. I only have good social circles in my reality. I only have good coworkers in my reality, good managers, good bosses. I only have people in my reality that wanna hype me up and see me win, see me succeed, see me thrive, see me excel. Okay, especially if you're the type of person that, you know, you're worried about the evil eye or negative energy. Um, I'm sorry to say it, you guys, like this might be a little bit controversial, but like I think you might just be doing that to yourself because there's some people out there who don't really believe in the evil eye and therefore don't get affected by it. And trust, I'm sure they have people that, you know, around them that may be jealous, but they're protected from that because they believe in themselves. Even if someone does tell you like, hey, I'm giving you the evil eye, I'm sending you bad energy, you need to be so sure and secure in yourself, okay, that it doesn't affect you. Like I saw this one post that said like make sure you're so rooted secure and grounded in yourself and you have like such a beautiful magnetic aura that not no one's negative energy can affect you sometimes it's like you know like energy is one thing right like they don't even do anything and you feel like oh they're jealous but then there's also like okay if someone says something bad to you or someone goes to you or whatever how do you react in that moment do you just be a victim do you just be like oh you know i'm affected by the evil eye this person's all bad or do you want to take back your power and be like you know what no i in my reality everyone's just nice to me you know, this is even a chance for you to change that person. Maybe that person is like, you know, kind of a jerk to everyone else too, right? Like mo most likely that is the case. Sometimes, you know, when people are bitter, like they might be like bitter to a lot of people. So you can just be like, oh no, this person's like the nicest person ever. This person uh, is so at peace with themselves. They love themselves so much. I only attract people in my reality that um, are kind, nice, caring, um, that always send good energy, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, if you feel like you want to protect your energy or anything, that that's completely fine. Believe what you want to believe. I'm just saying that, you know, for the most part, I don't really believe in that, even though it's part of my culture. I think it's called, like, Nazar. Um, and it's like, I know that, you know, jealousy is a thing. I know because I felt it, but there's never been a time where, like, I felt such rage and jealousy that I wanted someone to not have the blessings they have. I just don't think that way. So it's kind of hard for me to think that other people think that way. Um, even if they do, it's just like, you know, I refuse to accept that reality where that happens okay so and I feel like this has been good for me because it reduces fear mongering because I'm not gonna lie even though I'm spiritual and I love seeing spiritual content some of the content out there can be very fear mongering and very like
like disempowering and um you know something that i want to tell you is to only watch people to only listen to things podcasts whatever um where you feel empowered after listening to them okay some people might you know have their own experiences you know everyone's projecting it every time but if you're just like i don't know if i believe in this it's okay you don't need to you can even agree with other things they say but not you know not internalize some things that's completely fine but you need to figure out what empowers you the most in your reality and anything that's fear-mongering um you don't need to believe in okay even if it's like let's say part of like for me you know i do i do come from a culture i i I do have a religion you know um that like uh, i'm hindu i'm indian and like there's certain things that I, I, there's so many things i love about my culture but like some things like for example like nazar i'm just i just don't really believe in it and same with my parents they're the same too but they don't necessarily take everything um you know from that religion from that culture they only take what like you know benefits them and that that kind of is also um maybe not the premise of hinduism but i, I think like they like I, I do i do remember reading something about like only you know take what empowers you and leave what doesn't it is an open religion at the end of the day it's like they don't really force you to believe in this or that you know like that, i just wanted to you know kind of share that um and that's just my personal take um i'm not saying you know disregard your religion or culture or anything like that i'm just saying that you know um i personally done that i've learned to think for myself and it's been the most empowering thing for me um you know i love learning about different like philosophies different religions things like that but one thing that i do in my life is i only take away the good things that really empower me because i think there's truth in like you know every philosophy um and ideal out there okay maybe not everyone but a lot of them like you know the ones that preach good things but anyways yeah sorry that was kind of a um tangent yeah uh so i only attract mature smart men yeah so i mean you can say the same thing for women this was just like a personal scripting session for me because you know i really wanted to change my perception of men because i've been hearing all these like bad stories uh online you know about like certain celebrities and things like that and i'm like you know what no i want to change this i i want things i want you know the people that are in power as celebrities to be good people like i don't think like you know um like i still like entertainment and things like that but i just I just want better people. I want better people in my life. I want better people uh, being models and representing, you know, certain people and cultures and whatever out there, okay? Um, so I'm just like, yeah, I only have good men in my reality. And you can say that for anyone. I only have good uh, female friends in my reality. I only have good, like, you know, adults in my reality. Um, I only have good, like, coworkers and good relationships in my reality, okay? Yeah. So um, I wrote down, I'm happy and thriving. My life is perfect pretty straightforward i'm the prize any man would be lucky to be with me or any woman would be lucky to be with me or whoever you're into whatever gender you know would be lucky to be with me um any person would be lucky to date me okay this will put you on the pedestal and take them off the pedestal okay or maybe it'll like just equalize the energy it's not like you need to see yourself as like better than anyone or anything no but if you find yourself putting someone on the pedestal a lot even like your job even like the job that you're trying to apply for you need to say that job would be lucky to hire me that position would be lucky to have me that manager would be lucky to have me work for them okay just say it even if you don't believe it just say it this works on a deep subconscious level okay and you will stop like you know uh putting them so much on the pedestal and feeling like oh yeah you know they're unreachable or whatever because especially when you feel like really like you know intense like feelings for someone right like you know you're just like oh i want this person right now i just miss them i miss being around them blah 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 um that's it's a it's okay to miss them but if it's like if it's getting to the point where like that's all you think about i mean it's you have a, a you have a life to live okay i mean um you'll get them back you will they will come back but just in the meantime you know be so confident and self-assured in yourself that you realize that it's a privilege for them to be with you and they will start showing up that way not only will they come back but they will start treating you better they'll start giving you flowers gifts taking you out um they'll start like communicating with you more being more consistent with you okay um this really does work again on a deep subconscious level even if you don't consciously believe it just say it just repeat it 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 will work okay I know because I've done that and multiple times and it has worked pretty much every time. Um, yeah, so we. I also wrote down here, I am magnetic and ir- irreplaceable. I really like that affirmation. I'm magnetic, irresistible, irreplaceable. I would say that all the time whenever I started my channel. Um, yeah, the next one is, I deeply internalize my positive thoughts. This plus is a positive thoughts because I ran out of space. I deeply internalize my positive thoughts. I only give power to my positive thoughts. That way, even if negative thoughts do creep up, you know like you don't have to like force them away but just take away your attention from them because yeah we think a lot of different thoughts but if you only give power to the positive thoughts and the negative thoughts like they just won't manifest 
which is, you know, true. We don't manifest all 70,000 thoughts we think every day, right? Like the world would be crazy if we did. Um, it's just what your dominant thoughts are, right? So you can even say my dominant thoughts are positive. My dominant thoughts are in alignment with what I want to manifest. Um, the other affirmation I have here is I'm happy, joyous, and at peace, okay? Especially for those of you, um, you know, you've been manifesting and you feel like, oh, like, why is this happening? Like maybe it's been stressing you out. You've been feeling a lot of anxiety regarding your, um, you know, manifestation journey or like just, in general just say i'm happy joyous and at peace i'm always happy because you know you will get that thing that you want but there's no reason you need to spend your entire life like stressing about things feeling bad feeling down okay like live your life have fun go out with your friends okay like live your life to the fullest that thing that person that relationship what you whatever you want it will come to you okay but you know and i, I do this, I'm, I'm just gonna say it like you know that thing doesn't necessarily define your worth you define your worth and like you're a whole and complete person without that thing and again it's okay for you to want that thing because i'm a huge believer that hey if we live in a 3d material world it's okay to want 3d things i'm not gonna say that like oh yeah you just you know um you don't need like yeah you technically don't really need anything uh, maybe other than the basic necessities but like you know in, in the spiritual world a lot of people will say things like oh like you know you just you don't how, how do i explain this um they'll kind of just say like oh you know to desire love to desire money um that's like a it, it's 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 ego based things like that and like yeah i mean we it it is okay to have a little bit of ego it is okay to want you know um the three things that you want right so i'm not saying that like you know um you shouldn't want these at all because sometimes you know people will be like oh yeah once you detach once you let go of the need then you, then it'll come in or whatever or something better will come in and i wholeheartedly believe you can get exactly what you want the way that you want it but the the point that i'm trying to make here is that just because you don't have it don't make yourself miserable don't think that like oh if i don't have this thing i won't be happy maybe you do feel like you will be happy once you get that thing and you know you'll be happy but and i'm not gonna say like oh you need to be completely healed healthy happy to manifest that thing but it's like if you have the choice of feeling good feeling happy feeling at peace living like a fun life then why would you not choose that right so that's why I just like this affirmation. I'm happy, I'm joyous, I'm at peace. And this thing that's you know gonna come into my life that I'm manifesting is just going to amplify my life. It's the cherry on the top of my life that's already good, okay? Um, yeah, like a, a lot of people in the spiritual world, even like, you know, the law of attraction community will say like, oh, you need to feel fulfilled within yourself. You need to give yourself that thing. Um, and the, while I do think that is pretty good advice, you know, I, it's okay to want that thing that you want okay you don't need to be a hundred percent like you know faking your feelings oh i'm completely happy without this thing like you maybe that thing will make you happy but also at the same time like you can't like depend like you know be so dependable on that thing or dependable on your um on that thing for your complete happiness like yes it will enhance your life but just affirm that you feel good you feel amazing you feel at peace you know why because you know that thing is already coming and i think that's the point they really try to make that like oh if you had that thing how would you feel right but also sometimes people don't know how to feel that feeling because maybe they're not good at visualizing or imagining um and it's kind of like it, it feels like they're forcing that feeling right which is where robotic affirmations come in where saturation comes in just whatever you feel whether you feel angry sad frustrated whether you feel happy content peace just affirm just affirm and that thing will come in no need to fake your feelings you don't need to fake being happy but it's like if you just say that i am happy i do feel good you will like automatically start feeling that way and you won't be faking it it'll be like genuine real feelings of happiness feeling peace feeling content and guess what when you say this at least this is something that i've experienced in my reality i've attracted more things in my life that made me happy it's like even if i was manifesting for a very specific thing but i would say things like oh i'm happy i'm always getting good opportunities good things are always happening to me um i would manifest other things in my reality that made me happy that like um you know maybe i'd get like free things from brands or um i'd have like a really good day out with my friends or like a really good conversation that was like super enlightening or I'd, like find a really good book that i'm invested in or i'd get free food or i'd get like compliments at work or something right so um this will enhance your life in every way possible okay it's okay to want that thing that you're manifesting or the specific things but i'm telling you once you you know really consciously manifest every day 
and you delve deep into this manifestation game, your life just improves in every way. I've seen way more improvement in my life than not. Like even like the sad moments, even like the down moments, I realized like honestly, if I didn't know about manifestation, maybe they would have occurred more frequently and they would have been worse. And it's like, because, you know, I work on like myself every day and, you know, living a good, happy life full of peace and inner fulfillment, things just, you know, got better for me and they're continuing to get better okay um yeah so the other affirmation i have here is i'm love loving and lovable i love this so much because when you say this you will experience love in your life in every form I, I even like that i experience love in every form i want to experience because i know some of you may be manifesting romantic love and maybe you have manifested um different types of love like love from your friends and family but you want that romantic love so you can just say i experience love in every form um i really like this affirmation it's safe and easy for me to keep my positive manifestations it's so easy for me to keep my manifestations it's safe for me to have my manifestations because i know some of you like uh maybe your brain your subconscious mind feels kind of scared surpassing a certain threshold you know that upper limit right there's a book about it it's called the upper limit problem it's like maybe you have a certain amount in your bank account and no matter how much you save up or try not to spend um you cut back on expenses whatever you just cannot reach like you know you cannot save enough um you, you can't like go past that number that you're trying to save up for like maybe um you get into like situationships and you even have people like confess their feelings for you but you're never able to reach that next stage or maybe you do reach that next stage but it uh doesn't last as long as you want it to last or whatever right so i mean we don't have to stay stuck okay you can also use eft tapping to blast away stuck energy i think i'm gonna make more videos on that i was like thinking about it i'm actually getting a certificate um I'm, I'm trying to become like eft tft tapping certified i know this is gonna sound silly but it, the certificate is sort of like you to me but i still feel like um i might offer one-on-one -on -one sessions for you to implement eft into your manifestations um because i've done that and it's really drastically changed so much for me because i full well believe in affirming but there is also science behind eft um and i'm gonna i have videos on that you can check out my playlist uh it's literally called yeah just the eft tapping playlist on my channel and i think i'm gonna make more videos about it because it's really really like it's helped so much it's helped me feel good calm at peace about this whole journey it's helped reduce anxiety there's actually science behind the fact um that this help does help reduce anxiety and also ptsd in veterans it's helped people get through depression and um just all kinds of ailments honestly and i, I know for a lot of you you're you could be a little bit more logical minded analytical maybe you grew up thinking that way and um maybe you do still kind of want logic like maybe even though like manifestation isn't necessarily logical you do maybe subconsciously look for logic in things and i feel like if you're that type of person eft will drastically help you i want to be making way more videos on that on my channel and also really be explaining the science behind that um just a quick fact that um when you eft tap it actually reduces activity in the amygdala the amygdala is the emotion processing center of your brain which is responsible for emotions such as fear anxiety but also like joy and pleasure as well okay so i mean um if you feel fear regarding a certain thing if you tap on it that fear and anxiety will reduce and you will be able to surpass that threshold that you feel currently um stuck on or stuck at okay so you'll blast away any sort of like stuck energy that you feel like could be preventing you from um reaching your full goal because maybe a lot of you have been seeing movements um in your manifestations maybe you've been seeing signs like angel numbers things like that but you want that full manifestation in the 3d and i really do feel like eft tapping is a really effective method to help you achieve that in any area of life okay Okay. like yes it has been used for uh decreasing anxiety stress depression ptsd but it's also really effective in helping you manifest the life that you want um and manifesting a stress-free life okay so i do think you can manifest whatever you want um regardless of whatever emotion you're feeling i have manifested things being like annoyed and angry and frustrated sad because we're manifesting all the time okay uh we are but again if you had the choice to feel good to feel happy to feel stress-free about a situation to go about living your best life because you're not spending so much time thinking about how your manifestation isn't here um definitely do try that out and do keep an eye out for my videos because i will be making more videos and i do want to offer one-on-one -on -one, uh, sessions where i can go through rounds of eft tapping with you that's specific to your problem okay because i give pretty like blanket affirmations on this channel but I, I have given specific affirmations yeah but it's like if you have a certain problem when it comes to manifesting love what's gonna happen is um i'm gonna ask you to send me um 
you know, a, a paragraph or a couple sentences on what you're stuck on. And I'm going to curate affirmations regarding what you're stuck on and give you an EFT tapping script. And I'll even do a tapping session with you. Okay, so yeah, th this is a new service that I'm going to be offering. I'm not sure when I'll come out with it, but if that's something you're interested in, um, yeah, keep an eye out for that okay but anyways let's go ahead and get to um, the rest of the manifestations yeah so we have here i'm operating from a higher level of consciousness i am operating from a higher level of consciousness i see things from a different perspective this will help you uh, reframe your perspective on that thing even like let's say when you're thinking of the past right now did you know that if you actually change your perspective on what happened in the past that can change how you feel in the present right um so instead of saying oh my gosh i can't believe i was a victim in the past i can't believe i always got cheated on played maybe if you reframe that perspective to oh, okay you know what no actually um i was always just treated so well even if it feels kind of like a lie um this is just one way of doing it you don't have to do it um just say it like oh i've always felt i've always had the best relationships um people have always been so loyal to me right this is blanket affirmation you know revision and that's what you're going to experience in your current day reality okay or you can even um reframe it like okay yeah this bad thing happened to me but it made me a stronger person it made me realize what i don't want rather than just being like oh everyone everyone does this everyone plays me like why would you want to be in a victim mindset in your own life if you have the power to change that okay so definitely reframing the way you see things okay or even just saying okay not in my reality the past maybe some people some people even do this they just see the past as a different alternate reality that's not what's going on right now and it's really your memories of the past that you know um that make you feel the things that you do it's not even the past itself because that doesn't exist anymore it's the it's you remembering it same with the future anxiety worry i mean the future hasn't even happened yet the only like moment that we have is the present moment if you can deeply tap into that and tell yourself like you know i i'm, I'm living the reality that i want or i'm on my way to living the reality i want things will change so much okay this is um yeah you know I'm operating from a higher level of consciousness, creating from the 4D, creating from the 5D, okay? Because maybe the 3D feels like a slow moving reality, but if you uh, tap into the 4D, like, oh, you know what? Like I can, I have all this power to change things. Um, maybe even if you see yourself from a 4D perspective, you know, tapping into your higher self, maybe envision yourself in the 3D and instruct your avatar to do the things that you wanted to do, okay? This also reminds me of EFT tapping because it's like programming yourself because you tap on certain acupressure points and you actually program your avatar like you know how in a video game you can customize your avatar you can give it a personality you can uh, dress it a certain way right like that's also what eft does it helps you customize your 3d avatar so you can experience the 3d reality you want to live kind of like sims in a way yeah uh, the next affirmation we have here is i'm thriving content and happy i'm always happy okay that's similar to what i said i'm happy joyous and at peace i'm always loved valued cherished and admired you can even add i'm always prioritized in love and relationships anyone would be lucky to be with me i know i said that sometimes i like rewrite affirmations because maybe that's just what i'm thinking about a lot or anyone would be lucky to date me anyone would be lucky to have me on their team um i am receptive to love and being fully loved by who i want i'm receptive to the love that i want the love that i desire i'm receptive to love from a specific person i'm receptive to a specific type of love again it's nice to experience love in all these different forms and if you are experiencing that that means you are close to receiving the love that you want maybe if you're manifesting for what you know a specific person and all these like friends from the past or just other people start reaching out to you treating you well that's a sign that your person's coming in okay so appreciate all the love you do have in your life and that will amplify the amount of love that you receive okay gratitude amplifies abundance uh, we also have your i'm so grateful for always receiving love loyalty and commitment from the best version of who i choose right now i love this so much i always receive love loyalty and commitment from who i choose from the best version of my sp right now um we also have here my life is perfect i am perfectly lovable exactly as i am i'm perfectly lovable exactly as i am you don't need to change a single thing about yourself unless you want to do that because it makes you feel empowered you don't need to change your hair you don't need to get surgery you don't need to uh like be taller you don't need to do anything you just need to change your perception change your self-concept and tell yourself i receive love exactly as i am you know maybe you're insecure oh i'm not my sp's type you are their type you're their dream person you've always been their type actually here's the thing you guys use blanket revision affirmations okay don't sleep on those because they're incredibly powerful i have always been my sp's type i've always been my sp's type you watch how that sp comes running back to you maybe and it, it hurts sometimes it's like yeah maybe your sp really did like you and like they do still really like you but maybe you're feeling insecure that okay then why are they going after all these types of girls or all these types of guys or whatever and you start feeling a little bit insecure or down or something like that no i've always been their type then you'll see they'll stop following those girls they'll stop following those guys they'll stop even being into they'll stop being attracted to those people 
okay? And they'll realize it was their idea. And I've actually seen this, you know? I've known people in my life that were, like, pretty, like, strict on, like, the type of person they wanted to date. They would only date, like, a certain type of person. But um, I've seen them, like, change their type. They're actually, you know what? No, actually, I don't really feel like dating this type anymore. I don't really connect with them anymore. Um, I, I want something different, you know? Um yeah it, that that can happen i've seen it happen i've even had that happen I, I would only like go after a certain type of person but now i'm just like do i even really like that person um so and like i definitely like more open to like different types and um yeah so th this stuff does work just because you've noticed a reality where they're only going after this type that doesn't mean they don't want to be with you okay sometimes it could just be that like you know sometimes people will be with people they know they don't have a real future with because they know they don't even have that much in common with them and they'll kind of like waste their time with them a little bit um, because like, okay, yeah, there's nothing real then I don't have to get my feelings and emotions hurt. It's like a subconscious self-defense mechanism, right? I think I've done that. I've definitely done that with people I knew like it wasn't really going to go anywhere with and it was this was more on the deep unconscious level and then I also realized like that's not even the type of person that I even date nowadays, or, you know, like so you're never stuck to a reality that you don't want to experience, okay? You can just choose to observe a different reality. And you don't have to feel bad about it. You don't have to try to change yourself to be their type or anything like that. You just need to be yourself and fully love and accept yourself. Or even if you don't feel that way, just say that. And you will start experiencing that reality where they also fully love and accept yourself. Or you can even say, I only experience the reality where they, um, you know, are fully committed to me and only me. Or combine self-concept with an SP affirmation, you know. They love me because I love myself and I'm amazing and anyone would be lucky to be with me. It's really that easy, okay? Um, and the last one is, I only manifest the best version of everything. You guys, when you are manifesting whatever, your job, your SP, love, make sure you're manifesting the best dang possible version of it, okay? Don't just settle for a text. Set, like Go after them being consistent with you in terms of communication, them spoiling you, them romancing you. Same with your job. Like uh, Maybe, you know, you have like a commission-based job or something don't just like manifest for that one i mean if you want to you can but you know tell yourself i'm always consistently receiving different gigs and you know commissions um i'm always uh receiving promotions raises awards at work i'm always you know receiving the best opportunities that life has to offer um that are in alignment with the type of you know work-life balance that i want okay just try this your life will change i intend that all of you get your manifestations to full fruition for the good of all and harm to none and um I do want to let you know that I offer in-depth peer readings as well as manifestation coaching and I also custom make subliminals. So if you're interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you'll find my website and sign up for the services through my website. And yeah, thank you so much. Love and light.